guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another Rush Kit video for you. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Gigabyte G1 Gaming. That bit is very crucial as well. GeForce GTX 980. It's the one with the WinForce 600 watt cooler on it. It's the super overclocked version and we've got the flex display as well. But if I bring this um, uh, screenshot up for you or, you know, whatever you want to call it, we can see that we have a core base clock of 1228 megahertz. That's up from a stock of 1126 megahertz for the reference designs. That's over 100 megahertz up. And then that gives us a boost clock of 1329 megahertz. That again is over um, 100 megahertz up from the, the stock boost. Memory speed is the same. So is the, the amount, 7000 megahertz um, for 1096 megabyte and then all the stuff at the bottom is stuff that you would be used to seeing what we'll do is we'll just have a quick look at this WinForce uh, slide here you can see they're, they're talking about the unique um, fan design which I will show you when we look at the card in a sec we've got a RAM heatsink there special fin architecture you can have a look at this and you can pause this if you want to see it but moving swiftly on we can also see just a quick one here um, and the reason why I'm showing you this is just to show you that the WinForce logo lights up because you won't get to see it in the rest of the video. There is the card itself. Now I've saved this moment for you guys. Oh, because I know we all love pulling the plastic off. Oh, oh it's giving me jelly legs. Oh, yes. Right, I think I might need a moment. Anyway, so first things first. I did notice when looking at this, you can't see it very well from here at the moment because of the light in the room. But if I bring this photo up quickly, basically that end of the card, I can see daylight through. I have managed to get that photo, but it's very difficult for me to try and get the camera to pick it up. I've tried all types of things. I've even tried flipping shining torches at it. Um, but uh, nevertheless, this end does hang down a little bit. And I think if you look at it, you can see as well that it, it comes down a little bit this end and it um, uh, essentially this end of the card isn't in contact with the uh, memory. Everywhere else it seems to be fine but this end seems to be hanging down a bit. Now I don't want to make this a because it could just be a one-off but I wanted to put something up to show you this for um, NDA but also I've emailed Gigabyte and we're going to wait back for an official reply. But I've put this video up anyway so you can have a look. So it's not something that you should be thinking to yourself, oh, I shouldn't buy it because of that. Because let's face it, if they sell them like that, they're probably going to send you a new cooler or you might even get another card out of them. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do that. And I will, when I get an answer, I'll add uh, an overlay to the video, like a little um, annotation or something to tell you what the answer was. But... Uh, like I said, it was the, one of the things I did notice was it wasn't in contact, but they do talk about it. So actually look at the card. It's quite an industrial looking card. It's as we've come to expect with the uh, WinForce cards. Oh, I've just found more plastic. Oh, never done it that fast before. Um, they do spend a lot of time talking about these fans and because of all the blades and these little triangle parts on the end, they say that it um, increases airflow, but also uh, decreases turbulence. So essentially by doing that, they can make uh, more air go down onto the heatsink, but with less noise. Or at least that's the way it reads in the PDF. But we will certainly be covering this when we give it its full review. Uh, the reason why we're doing this video as well is because I can't do the full review on it until I have an answer uh, about the, the actual cooler on it itself. Um, so we will, we will see about that. But three, you've got the three fans there. You can see all the heat pipes in the middle, which uh, by having them in the middle, it does actually help keep the overall width of the card down because a lot of the cards seem to be getting fatter. But it does have the um, flex display. You can see that we've got um, HDMI here, three display ports, and then uh, two DVIs. And it gives you an infinite amount of uh, 4K options, essentially. So if, 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 you're, uh, one of, if you are planning on running multiple 4K screens and there's lots of ways that you can do it. Um, but also what the, one of the reasons why we're seeing a lot of the DisplayPort connectors is you need the DisplayPort for G-Sync. So for instance, like if you were running a 24 inch G-Sync 
uh, so a HD 1080 or for argument's sake um, maybe a 1440p you need these connectors for that so that the card and the monitor can um, talk to each other properly uh, so that's the reason why we're seeing a lot more display ports coming through this is HDMI V2 as well which does support 4k as well but anyway two SLI connectors we've got two 8 pin connectors this end we do have a nice backplate and for a change Gigabyte have the logo the right way up which is quite nice to see uh, also with uh, these cutouts here and here that we can see this would mean it was kind of nice to be able to zip tie your cables around here so you could actually make it all extra super duper tidy and don't forget this Windforce logo on the side does light up now I do know that the reference price for a uh, 980 is £429 in the UK so I'm kind of expecting around the £450 to £500 mark for this card but no official pricing has been uh, confirmed at the time of the video. So hopefully by the time, because obviously not everyone's going to watch this uh, instantly but we might know a little bit more about the, um, the RAM heatsink and like I said I will put that as a, an overlay but you got your look, let's just hope it was a uh, one-off, but nevertheless, I got one. Um, but yes, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you, out.